Welcome. In front of me is a Fitbit Versa 4, and I will go for unboxing of this watch and a quick look at the specs and what you get for the price that you get to pay for it. So, let's just get straight into it. We're gonna peel it off right here. Okay, pretty nice presentation of the device, being in this kind of like a nice opening kind of format. So here we get a longer watch strap, at least I presume it's a longer one, and we get the watch itself. There we go, let's peel that off. set it to the side so here we will have our charging cable oh, there we go. that's how we get it out our charging cable it's more like a just a magnetic charger uh, I'm not even gonna bother taking it out it's just a flip it upside down slap it under and it, as you can see it magnetically attaches to it literally even through cardboard so yeah that's one and and here we get the longer strap. As you can see it is decent amount longer. So there we go, those are the two different things that come provided with the watch. Now moving to the watch itself. Uh, we have unspecified a screen size but it is an AMOLED display. Dimensions of this watch uh, put it at 38 by 38 by 11 millimeters. Uh, it is water resistant up to 50 meters, uh, connects to Android 10 or higher or iOS 13.3 or higher. Uh, though keep in mind you will need to have a Google account if you're using iOS anyway, so something to keep it basically remember. Uh, it comes with, uh, let's call it smart features like uh, Google Maps, uh, Google Wallet, on Bluetooth call, Alex, uh, Alexa built in, Fitbit Pay. Uh, find my phone and basically calls messages uh, calendar email and all that stuff so it basically acts as a typical smart watch uh, without the actual like access to app stores and all that stuff uh, now moving on into the sensors uh, we have optical heart rate sensor built-in GPS plus glanus uh, gyroscope uh, altimeter three axis accelerometer uh, ambient light sensor it also comes with a built-in wi-fi not exactly sure why though uh, nfc so you can pay with this device uh, vibration monitor speakers and microphones so you can pick uh, pick up calls and just talk to people using this and battery life of about seven days um, so it, it separates it into like two different things so the seven days of motion data and uh, daily total uh, for past 30 days not exactly sure what is that supposed to be whatever uh, it's weirdly it specified it is a Fitbit so they make everything just either unaccessible in terms of info or just try to mislead um, so yeah that's basically oh there we go there's actually the battery found it uh, now I'll mention I am looking at the specs of this not even on the uh, Fitbit side but on the Android Authority because Fitbit uh, has the most uh, sketchy looking side when it comes down to finding info uh, by providing literally no info. So I was looking for the Charge 6 info and literally they didn't provide any kind of useful specifications for the watch that you get to pay $150 for which is just a in my opinion, uh, for a tech product, a big, very big no-no. Um, now, in terms of battery life for this one, um, we get about six plus days, uh, lithium uh, polymer battery and charges uh, up to 100% from zero in about two hours. So there we go, those are the info about this watch. Now, that being said, I'm gonna quickly just uh, give a bit of a thing to think about. So considering this watch, will cost probably too much for what it offers. Let me quickly check the price. 
I could actually type correctly, that would have been fantastic. So it looks like it's about 160 bucks, 150 on Amazon. It's right now on a 25% sale, uh, coming at exactly 149.95, so 150. And for 150, you basically get a mediocre device. And uh, the only benefit of this one is the, I assume, more accurate sensors that are included on the watch. But if that is something that you don't really need, uh, then some other smart bands like the Xiaomi one might be significantly better for you because it's significantly cheaper and has a longer battery life compared to this. So something to, to look into. And additionally, it doesn't try to sell you additional monthly subscriptions like this one does with their Fitbit Plus. I think that's how it's called. Where it just gives you some workout routines that come already with the device. It just locked away behind the pay paywall. Thanks, Google. So anyway, uh, that would conclude the overview of this specific device. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.